Hello, this is Eric Bobro with another Archicad video tip. Today we're going to be talking about favorites as a way to speed up your work on a project, and particularly to speed up the work when you're starting a new project. Most Archicad users are familiar with the eyedropper, which allows you to, for example, pick up the settings of a wall and then draw another wall similar to it. I can go pick up the settings of this door and then pop in a door very quickly. So once you have some elements drawn, the eyedropper can speed up the um, creation of new elements because you can use it to pick up the settings of anything you've already drawn and draw another thing uh, just like it, or several. However, when you're starting a new project, you don't have elements that are already drawn, so it takes a while to select walls, or doors, windows, or objects from the library to change their settings to the way you need them. And favorites are a great way to um, set up those um, preferences for use within any project, whether one that you're working on or one that you're starting on. Here's how it works. I'll go to the Window menu, Palettes, and select Favorites. This brings up a text palette that uh, I have already cleared out for this demonstration. If you have favorites in it that you don't want, you can always go to this little pop-up menu and say delete them, and within a very short time you can delete all the favorites to clear them out. Now I'm going to go to the wall tool and select this wall here and save it as my first favorite. I'll say save current selection, that's the wall, as a favorite, give it a name. And you can be as descriptive as you wish. Save this next one as Now I'll go and save an interior wall. And here's a thicker interior wall. Oops, I made a mistake here. This earlier one actually should be renamed. It's a two by four. So now I can select this one and save it So if you make a mistake, you can always select and change them. So we've now got a list of several walls. Notice that they alphabetize by the first letters. Um, now I'm going to go and switch to the door tool and select this door and save this as entry door. Save this one as interior door. You can make as many of these as you wish as many as you find useful. Now I can do this in 3D as well. So I'll go and open up a 3D view of the project and select one of our common windows and say that I'd like to save that. We can put in information such as its size because that information will become relevant uh, when we do activate it. Now notice that the window did not show up in the list because we're looking at only the doors. The door tool is active. When I switch to the window tool, we'll see the one that I just saved. When I switch to the arrow tool, we'll see that all of them are shown. So when you're in an individual tool, you'll only see the ones that are relevant to that tool. And in the arrow tool, you'll see multiple types. And we'll pick one very different window for the grid. And I'll go and select the tree and save that. We're not seeing it listed. Why? Because we need to switch to the object tool to see the object ones listed. I'll go back to the floor plan. And let's zoom in on the kitchen here and 
get some of the cabinets ready. And we'll get an upper cabinet as well. So you can see how quick the process can be to pick up all of these settings. Another variation is to use the eyedropper and switch to a different tool, like the dimension tool. And then you don't even have to select the dimension. You can simply say, save the current default settings. So this will save the settings of the element that I just eyedropped. So I can use the shortcut for the eyedropper, which is the Option key on the Mac or Alt key on Windows, and then save, in this case, the grid bubble. And whoops, go and use the option here to pick up the settings and then save them as a favorite for the section marker. So if I switch to the arrow tool, we'll see that I've gotten um, quite a respectable list within just three minutes. This list will stay with the project, so when I save the project and reopen it tomorrow or at any other time, it'll still be available. But if I want to put it in another project for use, I will need to save them using this pop-up command, Save Favorites. I can put it into any folder that I wish, and I can name it anything I wish. I'll just call it My Favorites, and it ends in PRF, sort of like Preferences. And then, in this case, I'll just replace the earlier one that I had. Now I'll go switch to this other project, which has nothing drawn. Now this other project has a whole bunch of favorites. Um, you can see quite a lot, but they're actually not relevant to what I want to do today. So I'm going to go and clear them out. I can go and highlight any one of them and just say delete. And you'll see the list start to get a little shorter and change. See how all of this is happening. But instead of going one by one through all of that, I can actually, in this case, go simply load the favorites from the file that I just had. And when I'm loading it, I can say replace. And then all of the favorites just instantly get updated with the ones that I had just worked with. So let me go ahead and create a um, some basic wall for um, shell for the building. And uh, I'll go draw a box here of... Uh, 40 by 20, and then switch to the stone base. So double click on a favorite will activate it. So then I can go and draw a series of walls. I'll use the command key or the control key on Windows to get the trim as a keyboard shortcut. That's a really nice shortcut. Command click or control click on an element that um, is trimmable and you can actually trim it right away. Uh, now I'll go to the um, interior wall, and I'll double-click on the 2x6 and say put in uh, a 2x6, I'm sorry, a 2x4 wall, and another one across here. Now if I decide uh, that I'd like to change something, the Favorites tool can actually help with that. This 2x4, perhaps I need to make it thicker, so I can double-click on a Favorite to switch it, and you notice how the wall is now thicker than it was. We go to the door tool, I'd like to put in an entry door, say centered here. Now let's I'll go to an interior door. Now I can switch it from centered to corner, right on, you know, even though the favorite was um, done with a different setting. And I can go to put in the sliding doors and go pop this in like that. Go to the window tool and say that um, I'd like to pop in a window here. Perhaps get a bigger window off to the side. There. So uh, let me take a look in 3D and we'll see that we've built up quite a bit of a model very, very quickly using these favorites. Other things that you can do involve switching things in 3D as well as 2D. So for example, I can select these two walls and say, what if, when I activate the wall favorites, what if they were a um, stone wall? So very quickly I can experiment with that. Or I can select this window and say, what if it were 
using the window favorites, a narrower window and say, all right, what does that look like? Let's zoom in on that. Or perhaps take and change it to the one with the grid by double clicking here. Now, once I put it in, I can look and say, oh, well, this isn't quite working because it's sticking just barely into that sill. Let me go and change its height. And so I can make it any height I wish, perhaps three foot six. And you can see now it fits a little bit better right above the stone sill. Uh, so this window and that other window were put in with the same favorite, but this one was modified afterwards. So favorites do not prevent you from ch making changes. They just make it very quick to get an element in and then allow you to modify it, just like anything in ARCHICAD. So today we've taken a look at how favorites can speed up your work within a project, or when you're starting a new project in particular, how having a set of favorites from an existing project that you've saved out using the save favorites and then load it in will save you an immense amount of time. So this has been Eric Bobro with my favorite tip for today. Thanks for watching.